Greetings friends and welcome to my channel Amy Forever After. Finally got that haircut I was complaining about last weekend and it was not done by a professional but fortunately I have a friend with good scissors who can just sort of fake it till she makes it and give me a good chop. So this is much closer to how I normally like to wear my hair on a regular basis. Had been growing it out for the wedding so I would have more options because my hair is kind of fine so if I wanted to do something up I knew it would need to be longer to add some more volume. Um, but then we postponed and I didn't need to worry about dealing with long hair anymore. So I gave it the good chop chop and I'll start the growing process over for next summer. Anyway, not a formal video today. Um, spent a lot of time at the beach this week, a lot of time with friends and family and just didn't get around to sitting down and filming a formal video, but I want to post videos every Sunday. So today, today is just going to be like a vlog style thingamabob. So, I'm currently at my parents' beach house. Today is Thursday, July 2nd. Yes. So I'm off tomorrow on Friday for the 4th of July. So I'm spending today at my parents' beach house working from here because my company is still working remote. And then tonight I'm going to relocate to my friend's beach house to spend the evening with her and her family, beach with them tomorrow. So I figured I would just vlog today and tomorrow and show you a bit of what life is like for us at the beach. So it's actually turtle season here in this part of New Jersey where we are located at the beach and it's the time of year when female turtles look for places to lay their eggs so there's been a lot of turtle activity they come a little bit closer to the shoreline and venture away from the bay more than they normally do so we get to see a bunch of them so i'm hoping that we see some while i'm here today um, or maybe on saturday when i come back here to strathmere um, to hang out with my parents because I've been seeing a lot of them and it would be really cool to show you guys So hopefully we see some turtles, but otherwise I'm just working here at the beach Going for the occasional view of the ocean when I can Right out front Ta-da So yeah, I figured I would just bring you guys along for the ride today not as exciting or informative as past videos, but, you know, still wanted to put something out there. Oh, hey, little dude. Two of them. Hi. Mr. Turtle, what's going on? And then there's another one back here. Wonder if you're sitting on eggs. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Look at her. She's being such a good mama, laying on her eggs. How smooth she covered that up. Look at her go. Bye, mama. Look how well she covered that up. Look at her go. Looking at it now, I would not think that there's any eggs down there. So I decided to come outside on my lunch break and have some lunch on the front deck. And I actually just set up my planner for next week, which is something that I don't know if I've ever shared with you guys. Um, I'm really big into planning. And I currently use an Erin Condren life planner. That's what I've used for the last couple of years. I'm thinking of switching next year, but I've been in this one for all of 2020. Um, so I figured I would just like give you guys a quick look at how I plan. A lot of people who do detailed planning with Erin Condren planners use stickers, um, which I did for a couple of years. But I decided that stickers are expensive. <laughs> Um, and that I never really got into a groove I liked with stickers. I always felt like I was stuck to certain layouts and I couldn't switch from week to week because I had spent money on the stickers so I wanted to stick with it. So I actually switched to a bullet journaling style but with the structure of an Erin Condren planner. So I use their vertical planners. So all of these black boxes are already laid out. But then anything that is colored, basically with the exception of this up here, I added in so I can pick like my color themes for each week. So this is what it looks like before the week starts. I just set this all up for next week, but I, you know, plan my videos, I track my hydration, my medications, my chores down here at the bottom for what I'm gonna clean what day, bills and wedding payments, and then I also do some reflection here. I had to let the motorcycle go through. Um, I do some reflection here and I write my high for the day and my low for the day. So I've started checking off my to-do list, canceling some things, track workouts along here as well, and 
I do a lot of goal tracking in here. I do some reflections. If you want to see more of my planner, I'm happy to try and do like a plan with me kind of thing. I don't really have um, like a tripod or anything I could set it up with, but I could give it a shot. I really like my system and I feel like I finally found planner piece, which is something that people talk about when they're planners is like finding what system works for you. And this has definitely been my favorite since giving up stickers. So just figured I'd share how I spent my lunch break I'm sitting out here on the deck planning next week. Work day is over. Three day weekend has commenced. Very excited about it. We are on our way to Wildwood, which is another short town for those not familiar. It's like a half hour away from where my parents' house is and we're gonna go stay with some friends for the weekend. So, should be fun. mask up before you go on a store. Well, did not vlog nearly as much as I planned to this weekend, but that's okay. I'm still getting in the practice of video making and daily vlogging, normal life vlogging. I haven't really done that before outside of doing it in Disney, so practice makes perfect. Um, but I did have a lovely 4th of July weekend. It is now Sunday, day after the 4th of July. It's July 5th. Technically, I'm supposed to have a video up today. Don't know if it's gonna get up tonight or tomorrow morning. I still have to edit everything. But I am in the process of unpacking for my lovely beach weekend. It was wonderful. Spent time with friends on the beach Friday. Spent time with my family on the beach on Saturday. Watched some fireworks that our neighbors set off right on the beach. Watched Hamilton on Disney Plus. Big deal for me. Tears were shed. And then today, slept in, went for a run, and went to the beach, packed up, came home. One tip actually I thought I would bring up since I discovered this for myself today, running. Um, if anyone is trying to get into running, especially if you're trying to get into running because you're trying to get more fit or lose weight for your wedding day, which let me just say that no one needs to lose weight for their wedding day. Everyone is perfect just as they are. It's a day about celebrating love not about celebrating aesthetics so your size is the right size for your wedding day no matter what you weigh the day you get married let me just put that out there big believer in that but if you are trying to get more fit if you want to firm up a little bit so that you feel more confident in your dress totally understand that i am trying to do the same um, and i've been trying to get into running and normally if i'm running i use a playlist that has a certain rhythm to every song so that the pace of the song matches the pace of my running so I'm running to the beat. And that's usually what I use because motivation for me is strongest when I get my motivation from music. Music's a big motivator for me. But today I was just really sick of my same running playlist. I was like, I just want to do something different. So I've been spending the last year actually working on playlists for my wedding day. I've made a couple playlists for getting ready in the morning, a playlist for the trolley ride from where we're getting ready to church, and a playlist for um, after we get married, when our whole, our whole bridal party leaves church and gets on the trolley together to go to the reception venue. So maybe I'll make a video at some point about um, playlist making, because I love doing that. But I tried to listen to some of my wedding day playlists today, and that was a huge motivator for me while I was running and working out. Something about like distracting myself and not thinking about the run and instead focusing on the music and trying to imagine like what I would be doing to each song. It was really motivating. It was fun. It just like gave me an excuse to pay attention to something else. like. I imagine me and all my girls getting on the trolley and singing a song together and then that made me think about the wedding and how I want to look at my dress which motivated me even more so I don't know that was something new that I tried today maybe you'd like to give it a try also maybe that'll only last a week and I'll go back to my little playlist next week I don't know I tend to go through fads but maybe give it a try I don't know helped me today on that note I am going to unpack so that I can edit this video and get it up and start working on my video for next week which should be wedding oriented helpful tips and tricks style thing again um but i did enjoy vlogging it's a nice alternative when i don't have time to sit and plan and film a whole video so maybe i'll throw some of these weekend vlog type things in the mix every once in a while anyway hope you had a lovely week and if you like my videos and want to watch more i have a video that comes out on this channel right here amy forever after every single sunday or in this case maybe monday one of those two days um and if you liked it, come back for more. If not, totally cool.
go about your own way. I'm clearly exhausted. It's, I don't even know what time it is. 9.30? Doesn't matter. Anyway, have a lovely week and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.